We have TSA leaving a note to tell passenger, go to hell. Uh, what happened? A New Yorker Ross Berenson found that TSA had dug into, broken, and tampered with his luggage, despite having a TSA-approved lock on his luggage. When he went to complain and get the form for that complaint, it had a uh, carbon copied in on multiple copies, go to hell. Uh, in other words, whoever asked for a complaint form would have that stamped on there. Nobody could give me any answers about what happened in L.A., but they very politely told me if I wanted to file a complaint, I could fill out a form, Berenson told the Gothamists. However, uh, when he filled out the form, it had the go to hell remark, just showing their attitude towards anyone complaining about their system, anyone speaking out, anyone not wanting to just submit and go along. But more submission is on the way as we've exposed the Big Brother transport bill is set to advance in Congress this week. Paul Joseph Watson has the report. A Big Brother transit bill that would empower the IRS to revoke passports of alleged tax delinquents and mandate the installation of black boxes in all cars as well as a myriad of other privacy busting measures is set to take a huge leap forward this week and goes into the details of this terrible bill called the moving ahead for progress in the 21st century map 21 sounds very agenda 21 esque uh, other papers such as the investors business daily have called it a stalinist assault on mobility rights and indeed that's what all dictatorships do they keep the population under control keep them from being able to move about freely, criticize the government, leave the country, and they have ways to mark and punish dis dissidents either financially or with the rights of government, turning them into privileges and keeping people contained. Uh, but that's not all. We've got more and more on the cash ban. You heard months ago about how Louisiana had decided to ban the use of cash for secondhand purchases such as pawn shops, garage sales, on and on. Well, that's happening in Europe as well as they deal with austerity and more under their larger economic problems. Well, the technocrats from Mario Monti in Italy uh, to those in Spain and the others have began to clamp down on using cash for large purchases. In one case in Spain, moving down to 2,500 euros at a time. Uh, saying anything more is suspect and likely criminal and an attempt to avoid taxes. Other countries, such as in Spain, and I'm sorry, as in Italy, take that 2,500 euro mark and push it down towards 1,000 euros, saying anything more than 1,000 is now beginning to become a little bit suspicious. They have similar moves in the U.K. and other countries. So you can see the larger global government is beginning to move us more and more onto the cashless control grid, and cash itself is becoming more and more, more suspect and criminalized. That is a report from A.M. Freyed, another fine contributor to the InfoWars. Moving on, I wrote a short flashback article about other GMO problems we're seeing. We've covered the gamut on how GMO crops are causing organ failure, sterility, uh, other bizarre damage and deformities, uh, a kind of a cloaked long-term third generation, massed infertility among rats that have been tested and others in studies. Now, going back to 2002, we see another very dangerous aspect of the whole GMO movement. Flashback, escaped mutated GM maize on the loose, maybe carrying AIDS virus. Now, a lot of people misinterpreted this. I'm not saying you're literally going to contract AIDS from some piece of corn out there. What I'm trying to highlight is the fact that they're doing dangerous experimental test vaccines that they're growing in crops under this new pharmaceutical GMO crops thing that they've got going on and how that itself is tainting other crops. It's escaped. It's gone wild. And we don't really know what the effects are now. Pull yourself back from this article. Look at the larger picture. We know autoimmune diseases are on the rise. AIDS, or autoimmune uh, disorder syndrome, is just one of those, of course, uh, as we know it to be basically the worst. But you've got Crohn's and a bunch of other varieties all on the uptick without any sign of slowing down. Where did it all come from? We know we have environmental, vaccine, food factors, and on and on, and this may be just worsening that problem. Now, going back to 2002, you've got a company called 
prodigine because they're prodigies and such geniuses based in A&M University and College Station here in Texas and they got approval from the USDA to conduct more than 85 open air trials of their pharmaceutical drugs grown in GM maize varieties and they decided to grow them right out in the open in the Midwest in places like Iowa and Nebraska where they were allowed to openly contaminate. And you've heard all the cases about farmers who want to grow organic, don't want the Monsanto seed, and yet they get sued because their crops are contaminated by 1% or less of Monsanto's GMO crops, and then they have to pay in court. Their whole agriculture is ruined. Well, this happened in a different context where their trials escaped, admittedly tainted crops, first in Nebraska, the U.S. state, USDA knew about it, but they covered it up, allowed Prodigine, the geniuses of GMO, to continue doing what they're doing. And then they had another contamination case where uh, one of their mystery viruses, which included the AIDS vaccine, a derivative for that, which included a blood clotting agent, which included a, a digestive enzyme that produces insulin, uh, industrial adhesives, and on and on, all these bizarre experimental vaccines, they're growing in GM corn and it admittedly uh, was not cleaned up properly and later tainted a soya crop that was planted in the same space. It, it led to a criminal investigation, but the company was just slapped on the wrist with a quarter million dollar fine. Uh, the company wasn't stopped. They've, on, they've been continuing to grow to this day. Other companies like Monsanto or Dow Chemical continue to do their own experiments. But it's a lesson of how there could be open air contamination, uh, unexpected consequences to GMO, including and these very dangerous varieties. AIDS vaccines should raise a lot of questions, especially since many of these vaccines are known to contain the elements that cause the disease itself. Uh, weaker strains of them, so-called attenuated strains, are used to develop vaccines, yet they are part and participle to the actual disease. And this stuff has unknown contamination levels as worldwide diseases continue to climb, as the health of Americans and other Western nations c continues to decline, and as globalists continue to tell us how they need to cull the population one way or another and how we had better go along with their plans. That's the real story here. I hope you can see it for yourself. It's not that you're going to catch AIDS from eating GMO corn. It's that they're contaminating the earth recklessly, wildlessly, as Alex has often warned about. Let's turn now to our daily quote. It comes from Ron Paul. It's about his legacy of sticking to his word. I will always vote what I have promised and always vote the Constitution. As well, I will not vote for one single penny that isn't paid for because debt is the monster. Debt is what's going to eat us up, and that is why our economy is on the brink. Ron Paul, not sure on the year of that, but he has indeed had a career-long, consistent message, and we wish him the best as he attempts to contend just the political spectrum of our ongoing operations in the U.S. as we try to restore the republic and rein in some kind of sensible government, something closely related to the Constitution, instead of the overtly Marxist world government aims they have. We'll be back after this with Yuri Masson, a key researcher into the world government and eugenics model for this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Spread the word. InfoWars Nightly News. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure, but if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139.